All right, guys, so here we go. This is the Iron Man miniature collectible set, uh, Hall of Armor from Hot Toys. And this is a little bit different than the things I usually review, but I thought it was really cool because I have always been a huge fan of Iron Man and particularly of the uh, Hall of Armor display that Tony Stark has in his basement workshop. Um, I've always wanted to have one of the six scale Hall of Armors that Hot Toys puts out, but if you put together that entire set, you're talking a huge investment in both money and uh, display space. I was drawn to this set because it is a smaller replica of that larger display that you can build and it all comes in one set. Um, they all come together in one large package, but they do package it in a way that's, I think, pretty interesting in that each one has these collector uh, friendly clamshells that open up um, so that you can take out everything that you need and then close it back up, store it away, and if you ever want to put it all back together uh, to make a retail looking display, you can and uh, you don't damage anything. I thought that was a neat, uh, thoughtful feature that they included there and um, you know, interesting package design is something that goes into these collectibles and I always appreciate it when I see it. Now, the pieces themselves are pretty simple. Um, well, they're both simple and complex. So you've got the Hall of Armor cabinet here um, and it's pretty straightforward. It's assembled with screws, plastic, um, and it's plastic throughout. And the figure itself is a, what feels like a single molded piece. I'm sure it's made up of multiple pieces, but um, it doesn't have any articulation. It doesn't move. So it's kind of a statue in a way. It's just a very small figurine, I would guess. Um, there's details on the back of the cabinet there. And then the bottom just has your controls, it's your on off, your battery switch, um, you know, basic labeling and that's on each one. This piece right here is actually a coupler. So you can take this out and you can use these couplers to put the entire hall of armor together. So um, it goes in there just like that. And you can put more than one piece together to have the Hall of Armor all assembled as a giant display, and you don't have to worry about them kind of sliding around and getting out of order and getting this aligned. I thought that was neat as well. Uh, it's not really strong enough to pick up the whole thing, at least in my mind, without danger of it falling apart. But it does let it sit on a shelf in a much more neat and orderly fashion. Now, you do have seven of Iron Man's original armors included here. You've got the Mark I, which was the one that he built in the cave in Afghanistan out of scraps. Then you have the Mark II, which was the uh, first time that he actually incorporated the proper flight mode. Then you have the Mark III, which was the first unit that was actually used in combat. This one is you know, one of my favorites. It's the iconic piece of the MCU, the first time we actually saw Iron Man in his full comic book looking regalia uh, that we're so familiar with. Of course, you know, the Mark I is, looks like his original uh, all gray, but this one um, is one of my favorite suits. Then you have the Mark IV. This was a refinement of the Mark III. Mark V, this is the suitcase suit. Then you have your Mark VI, which was the first suit that used the new element that he discovered. And then your Mark VII, which was the piece that was introduced in the Avengers. This is the one that he used to fly through the big Leviathan and take it out. And this one's a lot of fun. It's one of my favorite suits. So talking about the detail of each piece, we've got, let's start with the Mark I here because it's a pretty complex suit. Uh, it's got a lot of detail going on in here. It's got a lot of depth to the sculpt. There are a couple issues that um, for a piece of this type, I would have liked to have seen resolved. There is a mold line that runs down his thighs here. It's not very apparent because it is kind of a rough looking suit, but it's definitely a production mold line. Um, and you know, this set is over $200. So um, little details like that, I would have liked to have seen gone, but I, I'm nitpicking because those details are few and far between. Um, the light up feature on each of these lights up both the sides here, a little spotlight that comes down and then around the base. 
and it actually provides a very nice lighting effect that lights the piece in a really cool ambient way. So if it's dark, it looks fantastic. Even in light, it looks really good. Um, but it adds a real cinematic quality when you have it in the dark because of this little spotlight at the top. The one thing I would have liked to include it, to have included is actually the arc reactor and eyes lighting up. Um, again, at this price point, it would have been nice to see that extra detail. And since these are not, you know, you can't take this apart. This is all one piece. This all comes just like this. It, it, you don't assemble anything. I think they could have run a wire up there. Um, and even with light piping from this one, uh, had that arc reactor and eyes light up. And that's the case for all of them. It's just the spotlight that shines down and the arc reactors are not lit up. It just would have been a nice feature. Um, even if the suits aren't powered up when they're in the Hall of Armor, um, everyone wants to see those arc reactors lit up. Uh, this is the Mark II, which is the same mold as the Mark III, just in all silver. The paint that they use for this um, has a nice metallic sheen to it. So it doesn't look, it actually looks like metal. It doesn't look like just painted plastic. Now all of the Hall of Armor cabinets are exactly the same. So you're not going to see any variants other than the suits. This is the Mark III. Again, really good color separation on the paint lines here. And for something so small, um, I was actually very impressed with the detail painting that's included here, which is pretty typical of Hot Toys. They do a great job of um, really making sure that the paint jobs on these are above and beyond. It's, it's really far beyond your everyday average toy. I, would, I don't even like calling these toys, but you know, that's what they are. Um, these are collectibles, aren't they? Mark IV. I love the design of this suit with his the ab crunch here area with this kind of chevron design that comes down in the Mark uh, VI is the similar suit design, just with a different arc reactor. So the Mark IV is what he appears in at the beginning of Iron Man 2 when he comes and lands at the Stark Expo. Um, and this one is still the one that's giving him palladium poisoning. Again, that cinematic light down light these things look really really cool in a darkened room um, the only problem with them being on all the time is that they do run on batteries um, really they come with all the batteries that they need and putting the batteries in this was one of the most difficult things i've done in the collectible world uh, it took me a good 10 minutes to figure out how to actually insert the batteries here on the bottom i had to use tweezers and you're going to need a very 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 small screwdriver um, because that screw on that door is almost eyeglass size. So, and it does not come with a screwdriver. So you're going to need one to install these batteries, but, um, it would have been nice if this had a plug-in option so that this could just be kind of an ambient nightlight without chewing through, uh, 21 batteries every time you have it powered on. This is the Mark six. Uh, this is the Mark six here with the triangular extremist style arc reactor. I really liked this storyline. Again, light up. And then of course, the Mark VII here. The details on this one are some of my favorite. There's lots of neat little silver accents all throughout on the doors and hatches where all these different weapons come out. This is a really powerful suit. Um, one of the most powerful that we had seen and it's still pretty iconic in the MCU lore. Um, each one of these is only about, the character itself is about three inches tall, and the whole thing is about five inches tall. So it's really not a big space hog, um, but there's a lot of detail there, and it's actually a piece that invites users to come in close and look for more detail. Um, a really cool thing about this is the entire set does click together in this arc like that, um, so that it would be what would be around Tony's assembly DS in the center um, that would go right here. But that's a neat little detail as well. So it just looks just like it does. It's a movie replica. Um, it would be great if they would do a second line of these. So you'd get his next uh, seven suits and, and beyond. Uh, but this is a cool piece. They're doing them for Spider-Man. They're doing them um, uh, a whole, I think there are two editions of that. Uh, and it'd be neat to see more of these Hall of Armor types of collectibles come out. I do like this piece overall. It was a little smaller than I was expecting, um, especially at the price point. You know, of course, all the dimensions are listed, but it's hard until you actually get something in hand to get an idea of how big it is. Um, 
So uh, a must buy, I don't know. It's a recommended buy. Uh, they're great. It, it really is a neat little piece. Uh, and especially if they release more, it'd be really neat to have almost if you could like stack three or four of these and they're all different Iron Men. As it stands right now, it's one that I would recommend if you are looking for a very iconic Iron Man piece and you don't have a lot of other Iron Man stuff to go with it uh, because it does cover a lot of ground in this one, one collectible. You can jump on Sideshow and pick this up. It makes a great gift. Uh, it is $235 and right now it does have free US shipping. Um, but uh, if you're into Iron Man and you're into the haul, go ahead and pick one up. Happy collecting. Hey, did you like that video? Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen and click that bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under product info. Thanks for watching and don't forget to let your geek side show.